As a full-time artist, I think about creative burnout in a completely different way than most other artists do. And so in this video, I want to talk about creative burnout and give you some tips and some ways to deal with it. Because honestly, this is something that every artist has to deal with. I mean, we are basically producing work. I like to kind of think of it as an art conveyor belt. We're producing lots of work and then we sell it and it goes out the door and then we have to produce more work. And then we sell that and that goes out the door. And then we have to reinvent our ourselves in our creative journey along the way because of competition or we realize that over time our customers just want something different. Let's say you were painting animals for a while and then all of a sudden people aren't really into animal art as much as they used to be so then you need to start painting landscapes or portraiture or something like that. As a professional artist who's selling your work to support yourself you have to constantly be producing right and this is really tough. I know this from personal experience because I've painted upwards of 600 acrylic paintings so far in my career. I've painted animals, surrealism, landscapes, abstracts, people portraits, all sorts of different stuff, collages. And I love combining different styles like cubism and surrealism and impressionism, making fantasy art, making really interesting animal art. I'm all over the place when it comes to the subject matter that I paint and that I have painted throughout my art career. And this is a recipe for burnout for most artists. But for me, this is how I thrive. This is because I love to work and I thrive on the hustle. I love to come up with new ideas and just make all sorts of different projects. I like to have lots of things going at once. Lots of irons in the fire, so to speak. I love the side of my business that's the selling art side, not just the making art side of the art business. So I love to sell on lots of different platforms. I do most of everything myself in my business. I'm what is called a solopreneur. I do have one art assistant that helps me do some print bagging for me before art fairs. And my husband, Greg, helps me set up my art fair booth at the shows. But aside from that, I do everything in my business myself. And this is another recipe for creative burnout for most artists because it's difficult to run your business when it comes to a social media market perspective and then all the technical sides of things from having your website set up and shipping the orders everything that is involved in running a business and I could keep going with the list of responsibilities that artists have I mean they just keep stacking up but I won't overload you any further I mean I think you're getting the point Artists have a lot on their plate, especially artists who are full-time and doing this to pay their bills, who aren't working other jobs to support themselves and just kind of doing this as a hobby. But those of us who are selling our work for 100% of our income, it is a tough road to walk down. So with all of this in mind, as an artist, how do you avoid creative burnout? I don't believe that you should ever push through doing an art project if you aren't really passionate about it. So if you start something and then you're just like, meh, I don't really feel like doing this anymore. Set it aside for a while, stick it in your closet, work on something else. And then one of these days when you feel inspired, go back to it. Now, I know a lot of people would disagree with this and they say that you should push through. And if you don't feel like creating that day, you should make yourself do it anyway. And then all of a sudden you'll want to, but I don't know. For me personally, that does not work. If I feel passionate about something like on a whim, for example, if I feel like I want to create a rainbow landscape, when I I wake up in the morning, that's what I do. Even if I've had a pet painting back there that I need to do, I don't work on the pet painting. I make the rainbow landscape. I do what my passions dictate for me to do. I think in life, the most important thing is the journey, right? It's not the goal. I mean, goals are important and I'm not saying that they aren't, but they're not the end all be all. The real important thing is the getting there, the process that it takes. And so for me, making art and the passion behind what I make, that is the journey. And so why would I sacrifice that amazing journey of my life, the living of that every day, to keep on a schedule and do something just because I have to, I'm not gonna live that way. And so, yeah, that's one of the ways that I think I've avoided creative burnout. And this begs the question, if I don't like to adhere to strict schedules about when I need to get work done, then how do I do commissions in a timely fashion? Because a big part of my business is commission work. I make custom pet paintings. You can see one of them back there. Well, the thing is, is that what I try to do is always pad my schedule with an extra week or two on a painting. So that way, if I'm not feeling really 
really inspired about painting it on a particular day, I don't have to. I can paint something else. Or I can just do something totally different, like make a YouTube video or do some other type of marketing on my business. Because like I said before, I love making art, but I also love selling my art. I love doing all of the business things. And so if I'm feeling creative burnout when it comes to actually making art, I channel my creativity into some other direction with my business. And I love to learn new things. There's nothing that ignites my creativity and passion more than learning a new medium or a new skill. And so if you are kind of blocked, this is one thing that you might try to get yourself out of a creative rut is to pick up a new medium and try to learn how to use it. There are all sorts of videos on YouTube that show you how to learn new different mediums. For example, if you're an acrylic painter like me, I might decide to try my hand at watercolor or ceramics or something completely different than acrylic painting. And sure, when you start off with a new medium, you're not going to be very good at it, but it's going to ignite that fire within you, that passion that brought you to creating art to begin with. Because if you think back to when you first started getting into creating art, I bet you were learning whatever medium that you make art in and you were feeling challenged and it was hard and then when you had a success you felt so excited about it and that's what drove your creativity at least for me that's what drives my creativity and so I always try something new to get myself out of the creative rut because sometimes I've painted like 15 animal paintings in a row and I just feel like oh, I can't paint another cute animal for a while and that's when I like to paint something completely different like surreal realism or something like that. A subject that has nothing to do with animals and this helps me get my creativity flowing. Now you're probably asking yourself, well the normal advice I get for being burned out on whatever activity that I'm doing with life is to take a break from it, to have some rest and relaxation. And now I'm not suggesting to avoid rest and relaxation but I don't think it's the solution for a creative burnout. I think changing up what you're doing is the solution and constantly keeping yourself in the flow of creating by keeping things interesting because for me resting and relaxation obviously we all need this in our life and I think that you should have set aside like your evenings or if you are an evening person where you like to create maybe your mornings but some portion of the day just to sit back and watch a little tv or do something that you enjoy hang out with your family hang out with your cats <laughs> whatever it is right do something that you enjoy that's restful that's not using your hands because you know your hands and your arms if you overuse them you'll end up getting tendonitis. And so it's important to take care of yourself and take care of your body so that way you have some downtime in between making artwork. But I think that in general, a person doesn't need to take off weeks to regenerate themselves from feeling creative burnout. For me, the solution is to work more. And I know this is something that flies in the face of all recommendations on any type of burnout, but it just hear me here now. If you're switching up what you're doing constantly, so like for one hour you're painting and then another hour you're doing some sort of social media marketing, let's say you're creating Facebook posts, and then the next hour you're shipping out some artwork, the next hour you're planning for an art fair you're gonna do two months from now, the next hour maybe you're taking a lunch break and hanging out with your kitty cat, do, playing some fetch with their little favorite mousy, and then the next hour you're back creating a different painting, something completely different than you were working on in the morning. You know, you can schedule your day like this, and then it won't be so much of the same. At least that's what works for me. And so I just pile my schedule full of stuff because honestly, if I can say anything, give any tip for artists who are just beginners starting out, is that you have to work really hard if you want to succeed. I mean, sitting around all day resting and recuperating, you might need to if you're sick or something, but if you're not really sick or you're not injured, then doing that to get over creative burnout is probably not the best thing to do for your whole art business. Now it might be in the moment for your psychology to be having a little bit of a break from doing artwork in your business, but if you're trying to pay your bills, it's actually going to create you more stress because if you aren't producing work, then you don't have anything to sell. And if you don't have anything to sell, you can't pay your bills. <laughs> and so this will compound on you. The more that you are unmotivated to make work, the more stress you're gonna have to pay your bills. And so all of this is gonna create more stress in your life actually. And that's why I think it's so important to avoid taking extended breaks from creativity and creative practice if you are experiencing burnout. It's better just to get back into it, but get back into it in something that you are starting to feel a spark of passion about. And if you are in a rough path, 
scratch when it comes to finding ideas and generating a passion about making art, I would suggest to come up with some different things that you could try doing that you've never done before and see if any of those make you feel a spark of passion. If they don't, keep trying to generate more ideas. Some things you could do is go to an art museum and see if anything inspires you. I often do that when I'm feeling blocked. I go to the art museum and I just sit in front of some pieces and something inevitably makes me feel something inside. And then I start to think about, well, what did that make me feel? Why did it make me feel it? And then how can I create something that will make other people feel that same thing? Along these lines, one other thing that helps me avoid creative burnout is success. If I feel like I'm having success in my business, then I am so enthusiastic about my business, right? I don't feel burnt out by anything I'm doing. I mean, think about it. The last time that you were sort of in the zone, you were making lots of work, you were selling that work, weren't you excited and really enthusiastic about your life and really inspired about what you are creating and what you're doing with your career? I would say that every person who's in that experience, who's having success, feels that. And so if you aren't having success, then you might be feeling burnt out because of it. And in this case, what I would suggest is to try to figure out how to have success. And this is something that you could definitely put your creativity into if you are passionate about making money selling your art. And if you'd like some ideas on how to increase your income as an artist, I've made a video, you can watch it here, on 30 plus revenue streams for artists. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.